Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Mariam. And if you're new to this channel, Karibu Sana, we do lifestyle, we do hygiene, we do vlogs, and everything in between. So yeah, Karibu Sana, please hit the subscribe button, like this video even before starting to watch it. Yes, yeah, so let's get in, but I don't you already know what I'm going to be talking about. Um, I'm going to be talking about how I got into nursing school. If you don't know, my name is Mariam. A little bit about myself. I'm currently in nursing school at KMTC, um, doing med a medical assistant course. So yeah, it's a short course. If I'm not wrong, yeah, short term course. You do if you want to get into the nursing field, or if you want to just upgrade. If you're already in the medical field, this video disclaimer is for people who are interested in doing anything nursing medical assistant cnas that would be certified nursing assistant hcas uh health huh? healthcare assistant um and what else hcsa which is basically just healthcare support assistant so if it's something you're interested in please stick around i'm going to keep it very short precise i'm not going to rumble about with unnecessary facts i'm going to give you hands on and head on what is needed and like the necessary facts i'm not going to rumble so if you are new here can you subscribe and let's get into the video so as you've seen from the title and from the intro that's what we're going to be talking about you're going to be talking about nursing school so yeah and my school i'm not in a private school there are so many private institutions that offer CNA, HCA, medical support, whatever you want to, whatever you want to classify it as. It's basically, I'm going to put the description on the screen. It's basically a nursing assistant. You're going to be doing roles under. You're going to be under a nurse. So yes, it qualifies in nursing school, nursing department, whatever. You're going to be your immediate, your immediate supervisor. Your immediate leader will be a nurse, head nurse. Yeah, before you go to the doctor or anybody else and yes you can work in hospitals you can work in NGOs camps med medical camps um special care homes psychiatric units psychiatric units um geriatric units you know basically anywhere where there's needed medical assistance so yeah so why i chose uh cna course i'm gonna do it as CNA because even when I was applying, I was looking for CNA. Um, resources where you can find a good school. Um, before I've got it, before talking about my current school, I'm going to talk about the whole process like how I came to find out about the course, how I come about, and all that like the resources I went through. I'm not just going to dive in where I'm at because I want to give you guys options if you want to not go to the KMTC or the other schools like doing that. So yeah. I searched on TikTok, I searched on Google, I asked ChatGPT a lot of questions about internal learning, the unit, um, the intensity of the course, intensity of the career, and all that before I decided to switch my career from corporate to healthcare. So just know that I've, I've, I've never been in the corporate field. So, yeah, so I did thorough research, you have to do thorough research, especially if you're new to. It will be a little advantage if you have interest and it's your first choice. Unfortunately, fortunately for me, it was not my first choice, but we I'll digress from that point. So yeah, I did a lot of searching. I found so many schools on TikTok, um, Google. There are even hospitals like Nairobi West, Nairobi Women's, um, no Nairobi Hospital, Nairobi Women's. A, a lot. There, there's such a long list. I will be providing the information in the description of all institutions that offer um, healthcare assistant courses. Some even have accreditation. They they like, can link you up with um, working abroad if that is something you would love to do. If you do not want to serve here or you or you just posting your career from something else you did. So that is just a 
plus so yeah there are some institutions but you have to do other research i'm not sure about that but that is on their website or whatever i was searching like it came up with that extra information that you they can link you to jobs abroad and you know abroad when you have a legacy of healthcare you can either work at a hospital mostly it's hospitals and um old people homes what do you call those geriatric care it's just basically geriatric care so yeah so do your thorough research on where you exactly want to go and officially now KMTC has I'm not sure how many campuses my campus <coughs> excuse me my campus offers it um, so yeah my campus offers it and I'm not sure if I will try and look if there are other campuses in my institution that offer because the one I met offers it I'm not sure if Nairobi, Thika, Mombasa, Kisumu, Western has it but I'll look into it guys and I'll leave it in the description box so yeah it's new it's fairly new it's fairly new because there's a need for it so yeah so do you rather in search where you want to go if you want to go to a private institution or you want to go to public like mine is public it's government and all that um that is one thing i would really tell you and oops i did not even before doing your thorough research now after you've done your thorough research uh your, th your school and your grades tie in together like this it doesn't matter if you did your exams in 1996 in 2010 whatever time you finished your form for exam or your o levels your results are required um schools differ but i think for most if not all it's a d d plus grade overall either if you have above it if you have above it okay they'll, they'll take you if you have a b if you have an a if you have a c a minus whatever b and you want to do the course they will take you um so i think the minimum is d plus the d plus is a d plus so yeah and they check do they check the subjects i don't it's not as strict as nursing because nursing really checks on biology math languages yeah, those you you know you know those those language those subjects that are key like sciences, mathematics, and languages. Nursing is really strict, but for a, a nursing a nurse assistant, healthcare assistant, certified nursing assistant, it's really just a D plus and minimum also D's in the sciences and languages. If I'm not wrong, it's not as strict as nursing because you know nursing for Kenyans it is regulated by NCG Nursing Council of Kenya. So yeah, when you're doing your thorough research on where you want to go, be sure that they're going to check your grades because the grades are important for the course, but they're not really as strict as nursing because this is below nursing, so you get the gist. So yeah, those are the prerequisites, like B plus, and they'll also, they'll also check your languages and your math grade and your languages. That's just, that's just the minimum it doesn't have so much and i don't think what, what would you be to because i know if now i would want to advance i know where I, i'm going to but i'm don't i'm not sure if you're behind it's a it's actually a certificate sorry if i didn't mention that before so i wouldn't know if there would be anything required if you are behind but what you do because certificate is the basic so i'm thinking that if you if it is to progress you now go to a diploma in nursing then you can do a degree then you can go to masters or you can do whatever after now getting basically if you have this you now can get into medical field like you can choose anything to do in medicine either a clinical officer the options are unlimited the options are unlimited but that is just I know where you can go to but i'm not sure where you coming from because certificate is the basic level yeah certificate is the basic level um duration for being for to be a certified healthcare assistant or a certified nursing assistant is one year <coughs> i know of institutions that excuse me i know institutions that have six months whether you will do three months theory and then you'll do three months um practicums or like practical where you go to the hospital and offer real support because you know this is health this is no monkey business like you really have to go to hospital and practice your skills that you've been doing in class so that is one thing that i know of also 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, there are institutions that take six months, um, but currently um, I'm in KMTC, so ours is going to run for one whole year. Yeah, it was previously six months when I was joining, but now it's going to run for an a year, a year which it's and it's not divided as in three months, three months. So this first year it's divided into two semesters. KMTC those who are interested, whereby we have mixed theories and mixed practicals for semester one. Then we have a we have a one month holiday. Then we have the second semester where it's gonna be theory and practicals in like together. There's no like a partitioning whereby you just do plain theory and then you start doing um plain practicals. All right. So I've discussed pre requirements. I've discussed the duration. Um, what else? I is it hard? No. So far, the units are really hard and are not are not are manageable. Let me use manageable because I'm still I'm still on we still on introductions and all that. So I'm not going to be cocky and just blast it out there that it's not hard. It's manageable. Um. Is it too science oriented? Yeah, because we have to learn body parts. I actually have anatomy, and I have yeah, I have anatomy, which is basically just discussing the whole human body. But it's not going to go in depth as medicine would go or nursing would go because you know nursing takes a long time, and I don't think one year the baby will have time to dissect each and every single cell, anatomy, tissue, bone. No, we're just gonna go basically through like generally to have knowledge oh this is this is where this is this is where this is so yeah it's not too much heavy biology oriented um what else what else i'm getting this point from my head so please bear with me um is it worth it i think it's really worth it if you're really interested in entering the healthcare industry healthcare world and you can work anywhere, you can really work anywhere, you can work and depending on your certification, you can work either in locally, internationally, literally anywhere with the skills if you have acquired the skills. Um anything else that I'm leaving out, I've discussed pre requirements, I've discussed um duration. Uh is it hard? Is it too much biology oriented? Um what else can I say? Are there too many notes? Yeah, I think notes are too many, too many uh, because it's a, it's nothing compressed. You know, nothing usually takes even a diploma in nursing takes three years, so you can do the math. Like it's really compressed, so there's too much coursework to be covered in a little time. But it's manageable. It's manageable if you plan yourself correctly, if you allocate your time properly, if you focus, if you're interested, if you have passion for the industry you're going to manage you're going to manage it's manageable as i've said and yeah if you have any other questions please leave them down below i'm not talking about the school generally i'm not going to delve into kmtc kmtc but i'm, I'm just really just touching on the healthcare and medical assistant and the nursing so yeah if you have any query even if it's about KMTC, I will answer it in the comment section. So please leave a comment. Um, anything you want to know, I will definitely answer. And yeah, this is the end of the video. As I said, I'm not going to ramble too much. I just want to hit the nail. I just want to hit the nail and not go around this and this. Uh, if I remember anything, I will be posting it on my instagram i will create a highlight for it specifically so if you haven't followed me on instagram i leave it in the description box you can follow me on pinterest pinterest tiktok instagram and all over social media and of course please do not forget to subscribe to this channel it really means a lot and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye